Good morning. <laughs> the power went out last night. <laughs> uh, I guess I should try to figure out how to fix this. It's um, it's about 5:45, um, but we've all been up early. Michael was out not long after five to go to the gym. I got up a little before 5:30. I'm fixing to start working on YouTube. Sorry, I still look like a raccoon. I did not get this mascara off from yesterday <laughs> when I got rained on. But uh, it is a Monday morning. It's probably going to be a boring Monday because we have all the repair guys coming to fix the hot water heater and the dishwasher. So I'm going to sit down and enjoy my pot of coffee. Be thankful I'm not out in the garage breaking a sweat working out and get started on my work for today. So here we go. Hey, hey, good morning. Oh, it's about 7.45. Um, got to the gym again, about the same that I've been doing the last few days, uh, around five o'clock. Um, put in 16, 16 miles today, um, two hours. So not, not, too, not too much of a speed. Um, burnt 1,760 some odd calories. Oh yeah, it's a little cloudy today. I think Julie and I are going to try to get a little bit of sun. Um, not sure what um, what we have in store for for this Monday. Hopefully that will be our last cold showers. <laughs> it is 9.30 and the hot water heater guy just got here. So moving on with my work day. Whew, it is 10.45. I have been working for like, oh my gosh, five hours straight almost. Um, other than the break to walk the dog. But the uh, the guy is here to fix our hot, to actually replace our hot water heater. And that's wonderful. But we still have not heard from the dishwasher repairman who was supposed to be here between 10 and 12. And it's fine if he's late, except for the fact we have afternoon appointments at the chiropractor we don't want to miss. So Michael is trying to follow up on where he might be just to make sure that he has time to finish before we have to leave. Otherwise, I'm afraid I might need to text the chiropractor and tell her I can't make it, but we'll see. Here we go. This is the leftover hamburger from Wendy's yesterday and my three scrambled eggs. Here we go. They don't look like much, but this is going to be my breakfast while I show Michael the editing I've just finished. Go figure out <laughs> what is going on. Uh -huh. <laughs> no effort. It's okay to be curious. <laughs> She's like, Dad, you gotta help. <laughs> no. All right, guys, I got some bad news. The hot water heater is getting replaced, but the dishwasher is gonna cost almost as much to replace the two problems. There are two, I forgot already what they were. There's two things with this dishwasher that have gone kaput, and it's going to be less expensive to just buy a whole new dishwasher. So we, this is as far as it's gonna get put back in because we don't know if we have to turn around and pull it right back out. 
but a new dishwasher isn't going to be an option for a few days maybe even a few weeks i don't know yet we have to talk to our landlord yet so <laughs> unfortunately it's going to look like this in the videos for the next few days and i apologize i know it's a mess it looks kind of gross but um we are this is what we're working with so that it will be easy for him to pull it out yeah when it comes time to pull it out and fix it or pull it out and replace it so this might be a bummer here what's funny is julie promised me when we left the house where there was no dishwasher that we would never be in another place without a dishwasher. well i'm doing my best no, I'm joking, I'm <laughs> it's joking. not my fault no i just think it's fun, uh, funny funny uh story. interestingly enough the guy replacing the hot water heater said there's no way the hot water heater and the dishwasher are related even though they happen two days apart and the dishwasher guy said they are absolutely related there is no chance that they're not so the two guys are out there um probably discussing that right about now <laughs> yeah apparently you get metal in your hot water heater down here yep. and they think it might have come through this line at some point so that is what that is yeah pardon this but this is just going to be what we all have to look at for this is insulation he said he had to keep sticking out yeah so. it's to make it easy because the dishwasher was installed and then the floor was replaced so the floor is actually in the way a too big dishwasher yeah, he told us no the dishwasher right. fits until you went and put the floor down no, and now right, it doesn't right. fit anymore so it'll hit the top of it <laughs> She's just glad all the strange guys are gone and she doesn't have to bark anymore. Hey, leave that. Leave it. Uh -uh. Leave it. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Speak! Go ahead and reward her for not doing it right. That's okay. <laughs> well, I don't. At which, which point in time? Like she was. Do, have her do something else. Have her do spin. Roll over. Oh, Yay. girl. Down. Yes. <laughs> Is that all we're getting? Uh, we've got a wee bit of fun. visit with the chiropractor right always is feel it's good for the mind better. body and soul yes yep. it is favorite part of monday where did this day go it's three o'clock i don't know where i'm hungry <laughs> I, I, know. I, I feel like um i think because we were out in the heat so much yesterday and i probably didn't drink enough water so i feel like i'm oh, a little dehydrated okay. but i also feel like i need um need some food like i need fuel we'll you know what some, i mean yeah I'm not, it's not even that I'm hungry. It's like my body needs some fuel. So, um, yeah, we're headed to Publix to get food. Yeah. We uh, just heard from the hot water heater. He hot water heater repair guy that is completely repaired and fixed and new. That's and done. At least we have hot water. We just can't use our dishwasher yet. So now we got to figure out: Are we going to continue to not cook at home or and hand wash everything? We haven't made a decision on that, have we? Or what is the least amount of damage that we can do there and cl and still clean up? You know I mean, what I mean? dishes, like, not damage. Yeah, dishes, sorry. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I meant. No, yeah. What can we make that vo yeah. involves the least amount of dishes? So, you know, anyway. Yeah, I think we can come up with something. I'm thinking I'm going to put a steak on the air fryer today. Hey, that's not I bad. am loving going to Wendy's, but I've had Wendy's five times in a week. I, me too, me too. I just um, miss cooking at home. I need home. something, yeah. I, need I something miss different. cooking at home. So we're going to go to Publix and see what we can find. Let's go. All right, this is what we got at Publix. I got two steaks. Back to cooking. You got the top sirloin. Top yep. Sirloin. And I two melted sirloin. some butter with some chop house butter seasoning. Michael has... Taco. Well, the old taco meat's back today. It's been a while since you made taco yeah. meat. Gordo's sour cream. Uh, pretty you much same old, same old. <laughs> our favorites. Early tonight. It's not six o'clock yet. No, but I didn't get full. I'm me too. No, seriously, me too. 
Um, how much? Do you know how much your steak was? Was it a little over? A pound? It was point ninety nine. Point ninety nine. Oh. And I had a pound of ground beef. Um, point ninety nine of a pound. And then I had a lot of hot pork rinds with it. Same. But I'm still we had hungry. a bag, I think, between. That's us. still been a couple hours ago, though. So I, I was. Just, no, but I agree. Like. I, we took the dog out for another little walk, and it's so hot out there. I was like, I need my cold beverage, and I need it early tonight. So let's see, what is it right now? It's uh. Eighty five. Eighty five. It's just such a muggy eighty five. You know, very stagnant muggy. Yes, the high is <clears throat> ninety four today. I don't think it rained all day. It says it feels like it's ninety two. Not yet. It it's got day. a sixty percent chance uh, beginning at six throughout tonight. So, but the mornings have felt great the last couple of mornings, and the evenings have felt. Good, yeah, but really tonight like, the heat stayed on for sure. I really like this weather. So I don't remember yeah. if we updated, but we have a brand new hot water hot water heater. While the dog goes through the toy she, chest. Over <laughs> she's over here <laughs> digging around in her toys looking for the one we threw away. We don't tell her. She had one toy she was eating, tearing pieces off and eating. Okay, so uh, the hot water so, yes. heater is fixed. Yes, we think we have the temperature almost right. I just Dishwasher is foobar, so we are... Yeah, it's useless. Our landlord's gonna have to get us another one. She's already she made oh my gosh. <laughs> That's her bone. She's gonna get us another one. She said she would let us know as soon as uh she knew, but hopefully it would be before the end of the week. Yeah, so. we were thinking so quicker turnaround time. That's a good thing. So we'll have it installed before we leave um on any trips. So yes. Uh we were glad she made that choice. The guy who was here today told us he was going to try to persuade her because he thought that was the best choice. So that's great. Hopefully that's a quick fix. Straight in, straight out as far as the install. And yeah, mm -hmm. maybe just another week, which is okay. I mean, we can do it. Yeah. It's only a few more days. Few I'm more okay. Days. I was just happy to have hot water back. I don't like hot that, showers, but yeah. those cold showers were a bit much. Oh my gosh. A bit cold. <laughs> now she's itchy. She's going to make sure we can't. In the evening, it's like she cannot settle down. It's... I know. And now she's throwing herself into it, the couch. So. She is crazy, crazy dog. But yes, this cold beverage is very nice. This is the um, the peach juice, mm -hmm. peach something peach juice, tea. Peach, peach tea, peach infusion tea. Yes, it's really good. Okay. I'm getting off of here so I can drink my drink. And we found a document or a uh, yeah documentary, documentary we want to watch on Louis the Fourteenth mm -hmm. and what happened to his body after he died. So I'm super in interested in watching that. Gangrene, so. died of gangrene. Didn't know that. I think he did. Yeah. So, uh, but apparently his body was like plundered or discarded or something after he died so i can't wait many revolutions that the french had <laughs> well the revolution the french had right, the big right, one the overthrow of the monarchy yeah, yeah so can't wait to see it so that's what we're gonna watch that's Good our night, evening guys. tv we'll see y'all tomorrow bye bye, -bye.